Uh, just a reminder for everyone here on the webinar, my name is John Harris with Epson America. I'm the dedicated education account rep for the central U.S. I cover several states in the central U.S. Uh, all K-12 schools with less than 5,000 students. So uh, once again, there's some handouts there with maps that identify your sales rep. Uh, so you can reach out to them after the presentation if you have any questions, if your rep's not me. Uh, so here today, we're going to go over um, Epson's education displays, particularly the newest extreme ultra short throw laser projector, as well as the full uh, laser projector lineup uh, projectors. So let's just dive right into it. Uh, I wanted to start off with this slide right here. This slide is a nice one because it goes over, uh, just gives you a nice bird's eye view of the full Epson projector lineup. Um, all the way from our digital signage on the far bottom right up to the top left, you'll see our highest in pro series projector with lots of options in between for classrooms or larger spaces. So just a nice quick uh, visual of what the full lineup looks like. But as I mentioned, you know, today's presentation is really all about one of our newest, latest and greatest laser projectors. That's Epson's Extreme Ultra Short Throw Projector. So this new model from Epson is, a, is the Powerlight L810E laser projector. And you've got some images over here on the right, but let's dig into the highlights about this projector. First and foremost, when we talk about extreme ultra short throw, what we mean is at minimum from one inch away from the display surface, you can get an 80 inch diagonal image. So a really big image from one inches away but we can go even larger with this particular projector. We can go all the way up to 160 inch diagonal with this. You know, I've taken this projector out to trade shows and the big question that people always ask when they walk up and see it is, wow, that's very nice looking. How bright is that projector? So this is a 5,000 lumen laser projector, no bulbs or lamps to replace ever. Um, it does have the ability to display 4K content. So if you have content that's in 4K, you could display that with the 810E. Uh, it does have the high, high dynamic range uh, support. So uh, nice contrast, good pop, great colors there. As I mentioned, it's flexible in the display size. You can go from 80 inch to 160 inch. You can't do that with a TV, right? You're gonna get stuck into that size that you buy you know, have that flexibility to move it around, make it bigger, make it smaller. With these also, you know, you can see in the one picture at the top there, we're, we're seeing these deployed also into sort of uh, teams room, sort of boardroom style rooms where the display is extra wide to get all the content and all the people on the screen. So you can go out to a 21 by nine and a 16 by six uh, form factor on this display. So in line with that 80 to 160 inch diagonal, you have that flexibility to change from uh, 16, nine out to 16, six or 21, nine. So lots of flexibility with the display. That wake on signal, what that means if you have another device like a DVD player or a Apple TV that you can power up that device, it will wake up the projector as you power on that other connected device. So really nice feature if you're using a connected device, right? Uh, there's a dual speaker built into this nice extreme ultra short throw projector so nice sound built in of course got the wi-fi capability as well as miracast casting built in um, and then you can do split screen with this nice uh, extreme ultra short throw up to two sources digital zoom image shift lots of flexibility and then one of the newest features uh, only available on this projector right now is our setting assist app we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment uh, just some really more, nice pictures here of what this projector looks like in a couple of situations. Um, as you can see on the right, there's that one inch away from the wall that you're going to be able to get to an 80 inch diagonal. So, you know, very competitive with like a standard 75 inch TV. Doesn't take up much room, very light, very portable, and gets you to that 80 inch display. Um, and then that's only from one inch away. Now, if you wanted to double that size and get out to 160 inch, really ultra large uh, image, you only have to pull that projector 14 inches away from the wall. So just over a foot away from the wall is gonna get you an extremely large image size with this new uh, L810E projector. 
Some more pictures here. This is a nice booth setup that Epson had at one of our trade shows events to sort of show you what this looks comparable to a typical uh, pa uh, TV panel size, right? So a lot of the customers I work with still uh, purchase 75 inch displays, TVs. We wanted to show you what that 160 inch looks like up next to that, right? So standard 75 inch display, this, 810E is going to be able to produce an image that's 4.5 times the size of that, right? So you can see just comparable on the wall there how much bigger of a display you get out of the Epson. And then in the top right, you just got another other Epson projector projecting onto the wall above that uh, image of the display. One of the other great features, you know, built into this new projector is our uh, 4K enhancement technology, as I mentioned. Basically what this does is it takes the LCD chips in there, which are uh, 1080p full HD, and it shifts them back and forth rapidly to double the uh, resolution on screen. So you can display your 4K content um, without any issues. Nobody's gonna notice that pixel shifting technology that allows you to shoot that. It's just too fast for the eye to perceive. But it really is a nice technology uh, built in, sort of future proofs you as the content resolution continues to go up. You'll be ready to display that. As I mentioned, one of the nice new features, particular just of this new projector is the Epson setting assist app. This is an iOS app that you put essentially on your phone or tablet. Um, and it allows you to uh, size up the projector just by uh, pointing the camera on the phone at the image, right? So you power on the projector and say your particular projection surface or angles are not quite right there. You set, open the setting assist app, take a photo of the pattern display, and then that automatically adjusts and resizes that really nice new feature just to make the life easier of those people who have to set up these projectors, multiple projectors. You're not gonna have to tweak around in the settings uh, to get it right, right? You can just open up the app and let the app do the work for you. So, you know, just in line with trying to make your lives easier by adding features that people want into the displays, right? So Epson setting assist app for the 810E, very nice. Um, here you go with some uh, accessories for the 810E. So you have the projector itself and education customer price is $29.99, so it's about $3,000 for the projector itself. Um, if you would need to mount it, we do have a mount uh, for 179, and that allows you to wall mount it and project down, or some people are gonna set these on a credenza or a tabletop or possibly even a cart. But we do have some uh, Epson screens that will work very nice with these, 100 inch or 120 inch. These are pretty expensive screens though, uh, traditionally designed more for a home entertainment line of projectors but they're ultra ambient light reflecting, so um, can really help if you have a space with a lot of ambient light. But once again, the pricing on those, not really priced for education, more of a retail price on those screens there. But those certainly would work well with this nice projector. Uh, as I mentioned, there is a mount and as well a replacement air filter. Uh, you know, these are um, laser projectors, so the laser light source and the filter rated for 20,000 hours. It's unlikely you'll get to that amount of usage uh, before you'll be looking to replace this technology many years down the road. Um, so just a little bit about the accessories for the 810E there. Now I wanted to just take a look at how we stand up next to the competition. As you can see right here, the, the products we wanted to kind of go up against here are the Panasonic uh, PTCMZ50 and the Optima ZU5000 Ultra Short Throw E, right? So those are the two really extreme short throw uh, projectors from some of our competitors. You can see the top line priced out for schools where Epson comes in at the lowest price point at 3,000. Uh, the brightness on these is relatively the same, but really where Epson stands out is over there on the uh, amount of short throw or extreme short throw. It's really the shortest throw available and only one with 4KE resolution, right? So these other two competitors for that same about price point um, are able to do that 4K content like this one can. Um, you see, we can go out to the largest uh, display size there at 160 inch diagonal, um, as well as more flexibility in the aspect ratio. And then, you know, you do have some optional mounts 
and built in wireless capabilities that the comp competition doesn't have. So, um, you know, really nice uh, competitive product to some of those other big players in the market there. And this is a little bit of a comparison now directly with Epson's um, PowerLite uh, 810E, which is our uh, business projector to one of our similar home entertainment models called the LS800. So you can see we're brighter at 5,000 lumens. Our uh, education customer price is lower. Uh, native contrast is not as high. That's one place where the um, home entertainment models do, do exceed the commercial models here. Um, and then a little bit better sound on that home entertainment model. But we still think the uh, sound built into the 810E is sufficient. But if you find that it's not loud enough, we do sell a pair of active speakers that don't require an additional amp if you want more sound out of your projector. Um, so yeah, just kind of showing that, you know, we're taking some of the, you know, concepts and technology that we're using in our very popular home entertainment projectors and incorporating what's needed um, for our education and commercial customers. Uh, just a highlight page here of the two different uh, versions of this particular projector. You can get it in a black version or a white version. As we mentioned, it's a 5,000 lumen laser display can go from 80 to 160 inch diagonal, uh, 4K enhancement uh, image processing, easy to set up with that setup assist app, uh, uh, enterprise level Wi-Fi and security, and then two speakers built into that projector. So really nice um, uh, set of features. You know, so after talking about that extreme ultra short throw, I wanted to go into uh, our just our standard ultra short throw laser projectors. These are the ones that you're probably more familiar with. Um, these are our, as you can see in the picture, uh, ultra short throw wall mounted right above the dry erase board projecting down. Um, you know, these are, are 5,000 lumens and in, in that range um, with two resolutions from uh, WXJ or about 720p up to 1080p on the resolution. You can go up to 150 inch diagonal with some of these models from two feet away on that mount. As we mentioned, all of these projectors we're talking about um, are, are lamp-free laser projectors, so no bulbs to replace, lower maintenance. Um, and then you, know, you can install these in a few different ways. You can hang them from the mount, you can put it on a tabletop and project up, or you can put it on a cart. So, a lot of flexibility with the ultra short throw displays. And this is just kind of a step up stacked lineup for you to get an idea of where the different models sit in the lineup. So entry level, the PowerLite 760W 4100 lumens. That, that one is the one I mentioned is about 720p resolution, really popular non-interactive ultra short throw laser. Um, then we also have the um, PowerLite 770F or 775F, the black and white uh, versions of that ultra short throw model. That's the 1080p full HD version. Um, and then as well, if you need more brightness, this one's been very popular with a lot of our customers, the 5000 lumen full HD ultra short throw 800F. Uh, and then finally, as we talked about in this group of projectors here, um, the PowerLite 810E or the black version 815, um, with that extreme ultra short throw, 4K enhancement, 160 inch diagonal. So that's kind of the premium of that step up lineup there. And this just is another grid here to show you what these look like sort of side by side, moving from most affordable to the highest end. Um, so you can see that entry level short, uh, uh, ultra short throw is about $1,500 for a school. If you want full HD, you're moving into about $1,700 and then 800F2300 all the way up to that $3,000 model. Um, you know, similar feature set across these, but it's really all about brightness, resolution, and then the, some of those display capabilities like 4KE or the different aspect ratios. A little bit about transitions in the lineup. This is where Epson is just moving away from those very low resolution models like the 720, which was a XGA or squarish low resolution, about 480p. We're no longer carrying that in the laser lineup. So you're at the WXGA or WUXGA or full HD resolutions for all of these. 
Um, and it's just all about lamp-free laser, built-in wireless, the ability to um, manage your content and play it back from these, as well as for schools, all of these ones we're talking about have a five-year whole unit replacement warranty with registration. That's free, included in the purchase price, but we do ask that you register. Um, moving on to another category, not as popular these days, but still uh, in demand with some schools that have low uh, ceilings in their classrooms and want a wall-mounted uh, short throw projector. So different than the ones we talked about so far, which have been extremely close to the wall or no more than two feet off the wall, these mounts for these laser short throw projectors can go as far as about three to four feet off the wall. So a longer mount arm on here. And really what that allows you to do is uh, get these projectors projecting down onto the board in rooms with really low ceilings. If you don't have enough room there, these can help you with that. Um, as you can see, this lineup is around 4,000 lumens, still using Epson's three chip, three LCD, uh, two resolution um, levels that you can choose from and then the ability to go up to 125 inch diagonal. So, you know, once again, just another option for schools that have specific installation needs. And as I've been mentioning all along, you know, this is another reminder that all these projectors that we're talking about are lamp-free laser projectors, uh, virtually maintenance-free up to 30,000 hours with the light source, right? So you have the ability to control that light source a little bit um, and reduce the brightness. And in the end of the day, it's going to give you a low total cost of ownership. You're not going to have to continually buy lamps or filters for these projectors. And, you know, similar to TVs, these laser projectors are instant on off. They turn on and off uh, right away, no warm up time or, or, or anything like that. And the opening price point is just over a thousand for these uh, short throw models. And as I mentioned again, with the lineup changes here, we're just eliminating that lowest resolution. Uh, and then moving from models like the 200 SW to the 210. And then now, instead of having an XGA, we've added a full HD model in the short throw. So you basically got two choices there, uh, 720p or full HD uh, laser short throw projectors. So um, nice options, very similar um, feature setup. Probably the newest thing to talk about here is the addition of that powered USB port uh, that allow you to charge some of your devices if you need to. And then moving on to another uh, really interesting category that we're getting a lot of uh, customers asking about lately was once again with that 4K enhancement technology, we now have projectors in our line of five to 7,000 lumen, uh, larger meeting room or classroom space uh, projectors that also have that 4K enhancement technology we were talking about. So those three models are the Powerlight L570U, L770U, and 775U. And really what these are are sister models to a few projectors that we've had in our lineup for a while. Um, and they essentially add that enhancement technology to allow people to, to shoot that 4K content with projectors in that uh, 5200 out to 7000 lumen range. So some nice features here, as I mentioned, you know, it really takes that 1080p projector and doubles the amount of resolution on screen. And we have some technology in there that really helps to smooth that out. And so it's, it's no, not noticeable for the viewer, right? These also can be combined with our Pixaline camera. If you need to stack and blend to help that match up the colors. Uh, so really nice uh, Epson only product that makes your life simple if you have to stack combined blend um, any of these projectors. You know, just key points about these, they're very compact and lightweight. You can get up to a 500 uh, inch diagonal image with under a 20 pound device, uh, that virtual, uh, virtually maintenance free laser light source, and as well as the three chip, three LCD that gives you great color. As I mentioned, you know, 4K enhancement and the Pixelina camera are really two of the great features that you can find with just these models, not the other 5,000, 7,000 lumen options we have. Uh, and, and once again, another stacked sort of lineup uh, view here to give you an idea of your options um, from 5,200 lumens all the way up to 7,000 lumens. Um, as you can see, we just have one option in this at the very entry level that is 
the WXGA or 720 resolution, and then all the rest of these are WUXGA. So um, up to that 1080p full HD resolution. Um, so the ones we're talking about here specifically are that L570U and the 775 or 770U. Those are the new models that have the 4K enhancement technology. And as you can see, we've highlighted there in yellow uh, some of the main features, whether it's lens shift, uh, 21 by 9, uh, built-in wireless HDMI out. These are all very nice uh, high-end professional projectors that you would probably use in larger uh, meeting room spaces or maybe in art classrooms where you really need to get a crisp, large uh, image with accurate color and high definition, right? So great options there um, for some of your larger spaces. Here's a little bit of what that rear panel of the projector looks like. Um, so lots of connectivity options for you. And then a little bit of a side-by-side -side lineup of these projectors with 4K heat, 4K enhancement technology. So there you go. It shows you sort of the highlighted uh, lines there with um, new features. Uh, as we talked about the pixel line camera, um, there are also some image tools there. We'll talk a little bit about EPPT in just a moment. Uh, but you do have the ability to edge blend, work with curved surfaces, go around the corner, all that kind of stuff. Uh, one thing to note is these projectors don't um, have the mirror cast capability built in. In order to save a little bit on the cost by uh, adding the 4K enhancement, what we did was um, took out the wireless to keep the price down on these models. So you can add the module to get wireless, but it won't get you the mirror cast. So that's just a um, note, note there, as well as no VGA support or no audio in. Um, and then finally, you know, just a little bit I wanted to add here on the end about control and management. You know, we've talked a lot about the projectors, but many of the customers I work with have large fleets of projectors and they need a way to manage and control those projectors on their network. And so I just want to talk about some of those tools that we have. So first and foremost, we have the Epson projector management software. It's a Windows PC software for managing up to 2,000 or just a little bit over 2,000 projectors on a network. Um, you can monitor the projectors remotely, check status, deploy firmware updates, and get email notifications on errors from those projectors. So really helps if you have to do some preventative maintenance or schedule filter uh, change out times, right? So we have that. That is a software base that you can install on your uh, Windows-based PCs. And then we also have what's our new called uh, Epson Projector Management Connected. This is a cloud-based service that we have. So it's a web-based service that allows you to monitor and control the status of the projectors similar to the other software, but just a new interface and allows you to get on the cloud and do that. You don't have to go to that PC where that software is installed to get access to your network projectors. So this is available as a download from Epson's website as well as the software version. Both are free. Uh, you don't need any licensing or anything from that. So if you do network your projectors and um, need to be able to control, monitor them, this is a great way to do it, whether you do it with the software or with the um, cloud-based solution. And just a couple of screenshots of really what those uh, the visual looks like on the cloud-based solution here. So this is a uh, Epson Projector Management Connected screenshots here. And, um, you know, it looks like we've gone almost 30, 25 minutes or so, so I don't have anything more for you. I just wanted to really share this, but as a reminder for those of you that joined um, late, there are some handouts that you can download from the control panel. Uh, we've got the Epson Brighter Future Price Guide for Projectors. We've also got the map where you can find your rep and how to contact them, as well as the full catalog. So if you want to download those, please uh, feel free to do that now. Um,